wish we didn't have to use the battle. I wonder who lives here. must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner, and so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? 
These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area, I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendium! Fallen's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. The pyres are back where they started. Incendium. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books.
does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. A wise decision. Thank you. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Rebellion!
You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great-niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the Ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder, nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think.
Revelio. That's it. Rebellion. Rebellion. This place has seen better days.
I thought I was a good duelist, but I wouldn't dare cross you. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion. Rebellion. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. time I nearly fell out of a cart at Gringotts. I was only young, mind. Not like I'd fall out now. Lucky if I fit in one now. I work rest. You've one less follower, Ranrock.
Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. I was simply at my wit's end. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St Mungo's, he vowed revenge. 
I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <laughs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard.
Seems a pleasant enough little place. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. By dark wizards he was. Revelio. for you to learn the error of your ways. One camp down, one more to go. Rebellion. How nice of you to stop by. Next time I see Fig or that student, I'll give them what they deserve. Akio! <laughs> Make you pray. 
incendiary. Both camps cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Revelio. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolph, only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers afraid to venture out. Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes, what about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolph herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic and even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolph's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. Could Bardolph have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful.
What do you have for sale? Bardolph, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Ah, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Marvellous. I could always use more of these. Ah, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. What you... Thank you. Sincerely. Thank you for passing through. Tips in the heart, if you please.
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul. Never was the brightest girl. And that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dorn and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is Muggleborn, sealed her fate. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment.
ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Do keep your wits about you. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Around, She's been here a lot longer than the rest of you. If I had my mind, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me, young cur. They teach you so little of what you should know of. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. What is that I hear? Perhaps death in all its mercy oh, approaches. No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. Wonder who lives here? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. This must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages.
Incendio. Akio. Revelio. Akio. Done something. No. <laughs> How did you do this, Jack? It's no wonder I never found that clue. <sighs> no, that's not it. Akio! No. <laughs> How did you do this, Jack? It's no wonder I never found that clue. Rebellion! Accio! No, that's not it. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Revelio. No, that's not it. Ha! Will not outfox me. No. Hmm. How did you do this, Jackdaw? It's no wonder I never found that clue. No, that's not. Ah. Ah, I see how this goes. From Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? This looks intriguing. Rebellion. Someone solved my puzzle after all these years. Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. 
What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armour, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather... vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Incendio! I shall scout around Fellcroft for something to poach. Perhaps I'll scout around Fellcroft for something to poach. Take that stuff! Come, bring us! Incendio!
Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Incendio. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. Let's get this over with, shall we? I have things to do. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm, yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Rebellion! What are you up to now?
Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But that was pitiful. You're so very weak. Incendio. I won't rest. Risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. big this place is. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. They lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. Someone didn't want casual visitors down there. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Stupid one. 
Revelio. Rebellion. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Akio!
an untouched chest. Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Revelio. symbol is hidden somewhere. Revelio. the symbol. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. 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 Let's 
Expelliarmus. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Rebellion. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me. Where could he be?
Revelio. It's a good thing Jack Dawes didn't fall down there. Accio! Rebellion. Rebellion. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. 
This can't be what the head of which Jack did. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Rebellion. I'm glad that the Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I need to look around for the symbol. Getting closer to Jack Doll's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Doll. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, 
The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this one? section. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. Am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of it. Can it be?
It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
Revelio. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? You can't imagine. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. You need to learn De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Rebellion.
Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. <laughs> this I want them returned in to. one piece. Wish I had my own broom. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> that wasn't too bad. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to 
get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. 